handle exception esp.net course sometimes can be very challenging sometimes you need to create a custom exception with middlewares and do all those tedious work but what if we can handle exception globally so that whenever there is an accept, uh, certain error in any part of our code we'll be able to catch it so welcome to today's video in today's video we are going to learn how we can create a global exceptional handler in esp.net core if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification button so anytime we drop a new video you may receive a notification and share this content with others who want to also learn ASP.NET Core and Azure. So let's get started. So I have this simple code here. Um, this is a simple cloud um, API. And what we are doing is that we are just creating students and we are we are just getting student by ID. If you want to learn how to build all this API, I have a video here in this channel that I will link it. I mean, you can go through and build API from scratch using ASP.NET Core 9 or 8. So this API, we are using ASP.NET Core um, 9, which is basically .NET 9. So what we are doing is that we have this interface here, uh, which we are then using it with this service to create simple cloud I mean, application. And then we have a controller here, which is then giving us an endpoint. So when we run this application, we are going to see how error happens in this code. So I'm going to run this application and then we're going to see how errors are managed or how errors are happening. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to then go ahead and see that, okay, now this application is running. I want to get student by ID, which I'm going to say that this 23, right? So I'm trying to enter 23, which I do not have in the database. I, I don't have any students in the database yet, but we see how we are getting this response. And this is not what we want. This is giving us a lot of, I mean, information or a lot of things that we don't need. And this is not, I mean, a better way to handle error so this is where global exceptional handler comes in now we are getting an error but the response that is coming we don't even know i mean we just only need a test that is saying that um id number 23 is not found so we are going to handle this globally so let's go and create a different um class called global exceptional handler which is going to help us to handle exception and with dotnet 8 something wonderful was introduced which is an interface called i exceptional handler so i exceptional handler help us to handle errors globally so let's go and create a folder here right now i'm going to create a new folder and we are going to see that exception so we are going to see that this is going to be exceptions let's make it exceptions like that and then with that we are going to create a new class called global exceptional handler so global exceptional handler which we are going to do it like this so global exceptional handler is the class so now we have this global exceptional handler here and we are going to inject the i exceptional handler i exceptional handler from asp.net core okay so i exceptional handler which then is coming from asp.net score i exceptional handler okay so we are getting an error that i exception so let's write it well i exceptional handler coming from asp.net score so this is what we want and this has a certain interface that we need to implement so let's implement this interface and try handle sync so this interface is helping us to handle exception globally in esp.net core it's very easy so when you check this error that we are getting from here the structure is not what we want we want to have a certain custom um, structure error response structure that we 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 want to have in our code so we are going to create some kind of um error response class which is going to have a property that we want to use in this global exceptional handler so we are going to go to this construct here 
and then we are going to create a new response um, a new class called error response so we are going to create a new class called error response so error response which is this so this class is error response and it's going to have only three properties so the first property that we're going to have is public um we're going to have the title because we want to know the title of the error and then we are going to see that public hint the status code and then we are going to have the message so basically this is how we want to structure um our error you can add more properties if you want but we want to get this so that anytime there is an error it come with this structure so let's go to our global uh, exceptional handler here and what we are going to do right now is we are going to um bring i logger here you can do that if you want because it will help you to um log some stuff right know what is happening so let's go and bring i logger here so i logger let's bring i logger um i logger so this is it and let's create a constructor for it so now we have iLogger here we'll be able to use it to it's not part of the exceptional handler implementation but just to have it to log some kind of information whenever you want it right so the first thing that we're going to do in this is that we are going to go ahead and see that we want to implement um some kind of we log in some exceptions first and the second thing we want to do is that we create an instance of the, our error response so we're going to see that our error response here so error response error response go to new error response so let's bring this error response from the construct so this is going to be an error response and the only thing that we want is the message so we say that message here is called to the exception message so anytime there is there is a there is a message coming we want to get this message from the exception so we want to get the actual message coming from the exception and when we are done with this we are going to use switch case to switch and one thing about exception uh, global exceptional handler using the i exceptional handler is that you can then have multiple exceptions i mean custom exception and then you switch them here you use the switch case say that when there is an um this error i mean switch to this error when maybe there is no student found switch to no student found i mean exception using the exception i mean middleware but you can also do it like that and it will catch it globally which we are going to do so now we switch in exception so when there is an exception we switch in the first exception that we're going to use the case and say that bad request so when there is a bad request exception what we normally do is that then we go ahead and see that okay the error response is go to the status code so when there is an um a bad request the status code that is coming from the bad request we want to get it so it's hint remember we made it hint so the copilot suggested but it's hint so the status code is hint so it's supposed to be hint when you are working on that um and it says status code dot um, bad request so dot bad request so we want to go and see that bad request so status code bad request mm, bad request bad request so it shouldn't be bad it should be bad request so we are not getting http code so this is we are doing it wrong so it's supposed to be http status code and then you see that we want to get bad request here so this is what we want to get so if there is bad request we want to get the bad request status code and when we get that we also want to get the title so the error response we map that one to the error response 
and it's a title but in here what we're going to do that we're going to do exception dot um get type so we want to get type so type of i mean name so this name what is the name of the exception which we want to get so if that one we we break you can go ahead and say that so now we only have bad request and then we have um default you can create a custom one so on an upcoming video we're going to dive in deep and create the custom exception i mean and then we map that with um, our global exceptional handler so let's go and then say that okay if bad request exception is not happening we want to have um some kind of default so default exception so if the exception is not i mean bad request then it's it's default um default exception so let's go and see the default exception so if the exception is not bad request it means that it's default so default exception so we can then say that this is the same but in um when a default exception happen we say that internal server error this is what we want and so we have bad request exception which is when there is a bad request we want to then make sure that that error um, returns and then we have a default which is an internal server error so if the error is not bad request then it means that we are i mean referring to um internal server error and then when we are done with this we're going to bring the http contest like this so we have the HTTP contest and say that response status code um is go to the status code so we the HTTP contest is helping us and you see it's coming from this um interface and then we are mapping it into the um, the error response which is our error response um, status code so the error response the status, uh, status code that we have we are mapping it to that okay so then when we are done we then say that await http contest await http contest um right okay response the right error okay this is good but we don't want to have we want to have the concept looking like this like this so this is what we have and then we return true remember that this interface here is a boolean so it's return true or otherwise false so then let's go and return true and then now let's save this so this is our global exceptional handler and this is the basic one you go can go ahead and then um um customize it add a program uh, program details so in the next video we're going to talk about what is a program details right so now we have this one here and the next thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that we register one in our program the cs so let's go ahead and register one that one in the program the cs but before we do that let's bring something we call program details um program details so program uh so let's bring that one problem details so problem details also help us to give us a more details about the error and we can then um map that one to also in our global exceptional handler but it, this one we are just calling as a service for 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 it to work and what we are going to do is that we are going to then bring our global exceptional we are going to register the global exceptional handler um so what we do is that we are going to say service let's do that one here we are going to say the builder the service here and what we do is that service so service the builder um service so service add exceptional handler right so add exceptional handler which then it takes in the um our global exceptional handler so it, it means that now we have um exceptional handler here but then we need to go in there and say that okay we want to bring in our global exceptional handler so global our global exceptional handler global so let's do it like this so that we get it fast it's like this and then it's, it's like this so let's go ahead and see that we want to bring in our global 
exceptional handler so group bar we can go and, and, and copy it so this is our group bar exceptional handler and then in here is what we want to bring and add exceptional handler service add exceptional handler is saying that let's do this at the top let's see let me do it after the problem detail so let's do it here builder dot service add exceptional handler so add exceptional handler like this and it takes in something like this and then in here let's go and say that global our global a global exceptional handler which we have copy it from here so let's go and bring our global exceptional handler like this here let's paste that one here so now we have our global exceptional handler here and it's very very easy to do that so what we what we did was just to create um another class called global exceptional handler and we are just in, um, injecting our uh, exceptional handler interface and then we have implement the interface and we have map the exception that will come from the interface with our custom um error response class that we have created and then in the program.cs we are trying to register this um with a program uh, detail uh, program DT, uh, details by service and now there is one thing that we need to do too we need to come here and then also register one middleware which is called app dot use um exceptional handler middleware so use exceptional handler middleware and now let's do that so now we have registered our global exceptional handler with our esp.net core i mean um the dependency container so it's very easy now let's run this application again if there is no error let's go and then make a request again and see how now everything look like okay now the application is running let's refresh this so now let's go and see that okay we want to get id with 24 let's hit that and now let's see how it look like and now you can see that we are getting the title internal server error and then the student with this is not found so this is how now you can see that the the error response that we are getting is looking nice so let's go and then post a student into the database so we can post a student just like that and then we post a student now we have one student in our database so if i go ahead and get student we get one student but if i hit two it means that we get this error response coming nice so you can compare this to the initial one that we were i mean getting which is a lot of messages coming up and this is better so now this is how we handle the error and now we can make a response and the goal is to learn how we can then use the i exceptional handler with the easiest step to have to handle global exceptional handler in our code so this is very easy i'll make the code available on github so you can pick it up and build it up and don't forget that this is a basic api that i built so you can pick it up and then try to customize the um, the error exception right the global exception handler add more stuff to it create a custom or uh, in our upcoming video we are going to create a custom uh, exceptions and trying to map it in here so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel if you want to better your .NET skills you want to learn more about agile and c sharp and software development so thank you for watching cliff tech i'll see you in the next video